Hi guys, so as you can see my Warhammer 40k chest set is yeah, it's coming along very nicely. There's just a few more figures to do for the Orc side. Um, and yeah, really pleased with obviously how they're all looking as these are all slap chop painted. And yeah, very pleased with how they come out and obviously came out nice and quick. So the only two I've got to do left for the Orcs are obviously these two at the back and these are going to be the castles or well the castle equivalents and for those i'm going to use these bad boys the auric ard boys um, and these were kindly sent to me by chaos cards there is a link in the description guys as these guys have sent me well quite a lot of figures for this chess set which is pretty awesome so yeah go and check them uh, check them out show them some love so and a good thing here is obviously there's loads of figures here uh, I only need two to do into this chest set, so the rest I can use for some kit bash conversions um, and possibly even my, my orc to superheroes conversions. So um, yeah, we'll get these out and we'll have a little look and we'll decide which two I think are going to work best as castles for my Warhammer 40k chest set, which I'm absolutely loving. Okay, so now the tough decision of, well, which two to, to use. Um, I have to admit it's a shame because I do like the old drummer guy. And if there had been two drummers, I probably would have gone for them. Just because I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, but alas, there's only the one, which is a bit of a shame. Um, so I think I might just go for two that are identical. So I'm kind of thinking these two here uh, could be the ones I'm going to use. Um... But yeah, I do love the fact to say there's 15 miniatures in here. Um, and yeah, I only need two for this. So I'm going to have lots of bits left over, which is pretty awesome. So, well, we kind of know these are no, not needed. Although I say these aren't needed, I, I've got a drawer where I'm keeping these. Just in case, for whatever reason, um, I decide or find that I need bases. So as much as I always throw them and hoof them out of the, uh, the shot, they are being kept just in case. Um, but yeah, I love to say, obviously I, mean, I, I do, I, I just absolutely love orcs. They are just so big, they're so chunky, uh, and these these guys are definitely, well, definitely look bigger than your, your normal sort of bog standard looking orc, uh, which is pretty cool. And also I do love, say the detail as well, I love the old chain mail on these. Um, yeah, so definitely do some kit bashing with these guys, which should be pretty awesome. Um, pretty cool. All oh, right, so there's two guys with the flags, but only one on the picture. So does this mean there might be two drummer boys in here? Because if there is two drummers, um, I'm going to be doing two drummers. All right, let's have a little look. Say so I haven't opened this box yet, so this is the first time I'm seeing everything that's, that's in here. Uh, obviously, that's all bodies. More bodies and odd legs. Where's the drum? Um, I can't see the drummer. Where's the drummer? I would have thought he would have stood out. Right, so them three are all the same. And these three look like that. Yeah, because they've all got the flag, dude. So there's only one flag on the uh, thing. Or am I going mad? Right, well... I think I'm going mad because I can't seem to see the drummer and yet he's got to be there somewhere. Right, bear with me guys, I am going to have a little look for this drummer and then I'll come back and we'll start cutting some bits out. Okay, so yeah, very happy. Um, there's not one drummer, there's not two drummers. You can actually make three drummers up. Um, yeah, so these three bits are all the same, which are all the uh, extra sort of arm components. These ones are all the bodies, legs, and heads. Because um, what I didn't realise was obviously the bodies are in one one piece, which is pretty cool. Um, and yeah, so I am going to have two drummer boys as my uh, my castle equivalents, which uh, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, very pleased with that. Say so the first thing I saw was a drummer boy, and for all oh, he would look pretty cool. So as there is just a few bits to each 
of these uh, these little figures. I am just cutting well, cutting everything out that I need for for both of them, uh, which is pretty cool. That say this means the first time I've actually, actually had it, where yeah, the bodies have been sort of like one one whole section, which uh, which is pretty cool. So it's really weird because obviously on the picture because they've been painted yellow, um, they look obviously well as they do, but the the outfits are very much like sort of night kind of outfits. Uh, which is pretty cool with all the say the chain mail uh, and just the whole sort of plate mail and, and how they look. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to doing a bit of kit bashing with these dudes, uh, just because they are pretty awesome. Um, yeah, love how they look. Love obviously all the different sort of helmets and styles. Uh, and so yeah, very pleased that I can get um, my two drummer men. Let's say because I always think they look pretty cool as being the um, the castle equivalents so yeah there we go there's them all cut out um well mold lines don't seem too bad just obviously the bits where i've had to cut them off the sprue it's definitely a little bit of tidying up obviously required there um but yeah these don't look too bad because i know i have had some some of these uh, games workshop figures and there's just been mold lines everywhere um, and you can quite easily spend half hour or more just going round the thing. Um, well, getting it ready to obviously paint. But fingers crossed these ones won't take too long. Uh, so yeah, these are obviously going to be slap chop painted uh, in the same sort of style, same sort of colours as all the other orcs. Just because obviously they're meant to be sort of the same clan and obviously look all the same. Not too bad. Again, quite often when I'm doing this, I will try and give them a bit of a clean up while they are in this sort of state. Um, and then once they're glued together, then sometimes when you give them another sort of looking over, you may or may not see well some more little bits that you may have missed. Uh, so guys, there is one thing I'm trying out differently uh, with my videos. And you may have noticed, but I'm um, I'm recording my voice at the same time as me, well, doing what you can see me doing. Uh, whereas in the past, I've normally recorded myself um, making things, painting things, and then I've done like a voiceover at the very end. Uh, whereas this time, I'm trying something a little bit different, and I'm actually doing the talking, well, sort of real time, I guess. So yeah, you will hear obviously like that, the scraping noise when I'm scraping things. Um, and there may well be a little bit less talking as I'll be concentrating at the same time. Um, yeah, just gonna give this a go, see how it works. Uh, because I must find, admit that when I'm doing my videos, it can take me a good three, four hours to edit the thing and do all the voicing over and all the rest of it. And well, I wanna start making more and more videos. Um, and try and do, I don't know, sort of two, three, maybe even four a week. Because uh, obviously most of these will be painting videos. I will be doing some sort of uh, building terrain, dioramas, and that sort of stuff as well. So it'll be a bit of a combination. Uh, but yeah, there'll definitely be quite a lot of uh, painting videos. And I say me trying out new painting techniques, which I'm really looking forward to. So yes, yeah, so I'm just trying this out to see if this is a quicker way of, well, making the videos, really. So yeah, I'm using the Tamiya Extra Thin Cement. This is one that I've had for quite some time and it seems to work really, really well. Um, and yeah, we're going to do it for this. Although I have just noticed, um, in my keenness to get these bits scraped and whatever, um, I've missed an arm out somewhere. Or oh, they're both in the other. Oh, no, no, there we go. So these are the bits you're going to get these extra bits in where I'm going to have little brain farts. Um, I thought for a second then I hadn't done both arms. But I had one was just hiding. So right now, time to glue everything together. So so this is gonna be fun. I've not done these ones before. I've not even offered bits up to see where they go. Um, but yeah, that seems to be that size side leg. And I'm guessing this one on this side. Although ah, oh, there might well be special legs. I must admit, again, I have just rushed in, cut out legs. 
but it might be special legs that go with certain bodies. Some of these bodies are a bit different. So what we'll do, we'll stick the legs to one side. Going well so far, isn't it? Trying this new technique out. And we'll, uh, we'll glue the arms because I've definitely checked that the uh, this body, oh, let's do the drum bit first. This body does fit uh, the drummer boy. So that is obviously the only, only one thing I am going to notice doing uh, this kind of video in this way. Uh, you will see more mistakes because the mistakes obviously are going to be happening kind of like real time because um, they won't be sort of cut out or edited out. Um, so yeah, that might, that might make it more funnier for you guys to watch. <laughs> uh, we'll see. So this is the first time I'm doing this and we'll see whether or not I do any others like this. Why can't we seem to get his arm to go right? Oh, there we go. There we go, one little drummer boy halfway done. So I'm just going to go and check, or should his arm be down? I'm not sure. We'll have a little think about that one. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go and check the legs because I say, I think I have just got the wrong kind of legs. We shall see. Back in a moment. So referring to the instructions, which obviously I didn't quite do before, it does appear that yes, I've got this body B body, and I should be having the B legs. Uh, I'm not too sure what legs I've cut out, but it clearly wasn't the B ones because the B ones, well, they're still here. So we'll, uh, yeah, we'll cut them out and we'll try it again. So obviously this is where it is a case of sometimes it is kind of worth reading through the instructions. No matter how simple this thing looked, um, yeah, mistakes were still made. So these are a set of B legs, which obviously should fit on this dude really nicely. If I can try and avoid hitting the camera, that is. Um, I will give them a quick clean up before I attach them. But uh, yeah, there we go. Fits in like a glove, which is pretty cool. So we'll tidy up that and then we'll get that glued on. And there we go. So that's them both uh, fully glued and primed in a black. And yeah, ready to do my, my usual painting technique on them. And yeah, I must admit, I'd really do like the, uh, how they look. And I'm so pleased I can get two drummers out of it, which is uh, pretty awesome. So usual sort of thing. I've got a grey and just a white. The grey was, I mean, these was this Games Master uh, dungeon base by Army Painter. Uh, but it's since run out, so it is just a mixture of black and white <clears throat> that I put in there and given a good old mix. And the white, well, the white is still the Tundra base, uh, well, from Army Painter. So yeah, a little, uh, little dab on my sheet of paper and then usual thing, load the brush up and then try and get loads of it off. Every now and then just have a little check, see how it's looking. Not that I've taken too much off, which is quite rare. Yeah, it doesn't seem too bad. And then yeah, good old bit of dry brushing. So say, I will be trying out some new painting techniques. Uh, well, not new painting techniques, but certainly new to me. Um, but say, because obviously this is how I've been painting the rest of the, uh, the Warhammer 40k chess set that I'm making. Uh, I obviously want to keep them in line and looking the same as everything else. So that's why, yeah, these are going to be painted in exactly the same way. So 
I say, this is a well, this isn't quite a full uh, sort of dry brush. This is quite wet, uh, but that's fine for obviously for the grey. So it is then just the black in all the uh, bits that I can't reach, and certainly the good old nooks and crannies. And then yeah, once this is dried, then we'll go over and do a proper sort of dry brush with the white. There we go, he's not looking too bad. So I still got to work out what uh, what colour I'm going to do his armour. So as much as I'd like it all to be just silver, I think that might look a little bit plain and pants. Um, so there's a few bits of skin in there. Uh, so definitely the chain mail is definitely going to be silver. Drum's going to be like brown or brownish. Um, yeah, basically so looking through what... Uh, speed paints, contrast paints I've got and just thinking of which one looks best because I don't think any of the other, color, other, other people on the chest set are well there's not really a lot of metallic going on other than the bits of silver here and there but uh, there we go it doesn't take long to do the dry brushing part and yeah all ready for some colour Okay, so to help choose, obviously, the colour I'm going to use for their armour, I've been looking at, uh, obviously, all my other players on my uh, my 40k chess set. Um, and obviously, most of the, um, the sort of material colours uh, or jackets that these guys have all got is all that, uh, that kind of orangey sort of colour, uh, which is from Green Stuff World, Dippin' Inks. Good old radiant orange dip. Um, as obviously, most of my people are, obviously, they're green, because they're... Well, Orcs, um, brown sort of trousers, black boots, and then most of their sort of top garments is in that orange. So yeah, sticking with that, that's exactly what I'm going to do for these dudes, even though they are in sort of armour. Um, still going to use the, uh, the radiant orange dip, just so they all tie in and look good. Obviously, all the uh, the chainmail stuff will be the silver. Uh, his drums obviously going to be some brown. Uh, the few bits of green of him you can see, obviously he is pretty much encased in armor um but yeah so we're gonna go with the brown just because say it will tie in <coughs> excuse me it will tie in and make them obviously all look nice and similar and uh, this is one of my favorite colors anyway to be honest uh i just love the way this this sort of orange looks um especially as part of it, it can kind of look almost between yellow orange and brown depending on how thick it sort of goes in uh, in certain areas but uh, yeah certainly one of my favorite colors and so it's a good old slap chop method uh, nice and quick and easy uh, yeah, with just results that I just absolutely love. And say this Warhammer 40k chess set is something I've wanted to make. Well, it's going on for nearly two years, maybe even just over two years. I wanted to make this chess set, but never did uh, because of the thought of painting all these figures just put me off. But uh, obviously that all changed for three, four months ago when I watched that video, the slap chop painting technique. And yeah, ever since then, I have been painting loads of miniatures, which has just been fantastic. So, a good old shout out to Chaos Cards, though, because they really have helped me out no end. Uh, with, yeah, with a multitude of figures. Uh, and I say the lovely thing is, they've sent all these figures to me, obviously, free of charge. Uh, but most of these figures have come in sets where I've had extra figures. So I will be using the extra figures and well, and obviously thanking Chaos Cards in all those videos as well. Okay, so I've let the first coat dry. Uh, normally with the dipping inks and contrast paints, I only ever do one coat. Uh, but say this this orange, radiant orange, 
from uh, Green Stuff World. It does seem to work better when there's two coats, as the first coat really is very translucent. So something I forgot to mention, um, I've got some lovely new paintbrushes. And these were sent to me by Warzone Studios. Uh, there is a link in the description to where you can get yourself some of these. Um, they do a whole variety of, uh, sort of maps um, and other kind of bits and pieces. And I say, obviously they do paintbrushes, which they've sent me. So uh, yeah, check out Warzone Studios. Link in uh, in the description, guys. So yeah, just simply a case of well, repeat what I just did and give it a second coat. And as you can see, instantly, it's definitely more orangey or a bit darker in colour. Um, but yeah, I do love the way this 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 one does sort of dry and gives quite a lot of variations in sort of strength and tones of uh, of the orange. To say sometimes yellow um, to even brown areas, which uh, pretty cool <clears throat> yeah, so while I am finishing this off I just want to say a big shout out and thank you to all my lovely patrons um, for helping the channel as well as my sponsors Eddie Cubic and Easy World of Dice um, yeah for all their help over the last sort of months well, I think almost a year now I think I've had the, uh, the sponsors uh, which is really nice so yeah many thanks to those guys as well and as usual all links in the description to sort of the stuff that I use um, and yeah so any cubic and easy roll of dice so go and give them some love as well guys so that's the main color done and then it's just a case of going around and doing well all the other colors As I was saying earlier, it's not really a lot of green sort of exposed on these ones. You can see a little bit of muscle there in the arms. But other than that, yeah, everything else is covered. So, obviously still not all the paints I use are contrast paints. Um, that's because I haven't really got like the full full range. Um, I'm hoping to get some more contrast paints soon because it would be ideal if I could just purely use the contrast paints as obviously I love the, uh, the style and effect that they give. Um, especially with the news of the Army Painter bringing out their range of metallic paints or metallic speed paints. Uh, yeah, that is going to be awesome. So I'm looking forward to that obviously in 2023 uh, which would be really, really nice. So that's them both fully painted now. Uh, as you can see, obviously there are some areas that do need something else doing to them. Uh, so until I get the full range of sort of contrast paints and the metallic ones, I will still have to use some colours that are just well normal paints. And obviously to help sort of blend them into everything else, that's when I still be using a good old wash. Uh, normally I like to use this sort of mild tone one. Unfortunately, that's all gone. I've run out of that. So it's a case of using well what I've got. So it's going to be this strong tone. I've never used this one before, so I'm hoping it's not going to be too, too, too dark. Um, and then, yeah, simply giving a little paint to all the bits that were previously painted in normal paints. Just to try and give them some sort of shadows and a bit of depth to them. Obviously, I don't mind the fact that it does kind of dirty it all up a little bit. Because luckily, that's kind of how I like my figures to look, is sort of uh, dirty, grimy, uh, basically battle-worn, I guess. And yeah, this is pretty much the final step painting-wise. And then once this is all done, they are ready to pop off and put on their clear bases and take take their place on the uh, the chest set. And I'm that little bit nearer to it being completed. Uh, just one figure left to do, and that is the queen for the Space Marines. 
So I'll be doing that in the next video. Um, and then yeah, I'll be showing you how I made the actual chess sort of board, which will be pretty cool. And then the models just sort of pop off nice and easy. Oh, easy, but on the floor. I'll grab that one in a second. Yeah, so he's obviously only had a little bit of glue on, so it doesn't take too much to, uh, to pop them off. Um, I'll give them a little bit of sanding, just so that I do glue them. The glue will be going straight onto the, uh, the plastic toy and not onto the paint. And then they'll, uh, they'll obviously adhere so much better. And that's then glued down to the clear bases. So the clear bases I get from Fluid 3D Workshop. Uh, yeah, link in the description, guys, to those. They do a whole variety of sort of size bases, thickness bases, as well as your normal sort of like black sort of bases that you guys normally use. Um, and yeah, there we go. Well, I think we need to change the colour of the board to green, obviously to be more fitting with my orcs. So yeah, push of a button, and there we go, green lights underneath. And then we can get these guys in their position. And there we go. So almost done, guys. There's just a one little space left, and that's for the queen on the Space Marine side. But uh, yeah, all my orcs are now complete, so that's one team fully finished. And yeah, just the last piece to go. So I'll be painting that later, well, later this week in a few days' time. So this will be all complete, hopefully within about a week's time. Um, and yeah, say so big shout out, thank you to Chaos Cards for their generous help in supplying pretty much most of the, uh, the figures here. Um, yes, guys, once this is done and complete, I will be going down to Chaos Cards. They're down at Folkstone. Uh, so obviously this is a UK sort of place. Um, I will be going down there to sort of, well, to show this to them. Um, I'll also be leaving it there for a couple of months. So if you are sort of in the Folkestone area or you can get down there and you want to see this, then yeah, it's going to be down at Chaos Cards, down at Folkestone for yeah, a good few months, I would have thought. Uh, but so I'm going to try to arrange to go down there later on in January. Um, and when I do, I'm going to find out what date I'm going down because uh, we're going to see if we can do like a little painting session. So I'm going to go down there for like a few hours. And yeah, if you guys want to pop down, uh, you'll be able to see me, see the board, and we can paint some miniatures together which would be pretty cool. Okay, guys, so yes, I know this is a bit of a different sort of video to how I normally film them. So let me know in the comments because I know this video is going to obviously be longer than my normal videos because generally when I make these videos, I do sort of speed up all the footage. Uh, but obviously in this case, any footage you see is kind of like real time because obviously I'm talking over it. So yeah, let me know if the length of these videos is a concern and a problem because obviously they are going to be quite a lot longer. Um, or if you like the sort of the preferred longer length because you sort of put me on in the background while you guys are well painting and making your miniatures but um anyway enough of that i'm gonna start waffling so i'm gonna go uh yeah guys like share subscribe all that good stuff but definitely if you can start sharing the videos guys that will be pretty awesome um as this is kind of now my sort of full-time gig of uh, of doing this so yeah if we can sort of get me out and out that'd be awesome Okay, guys, you all take care. Uh, this all, hopes all a good 2023 for all of us. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.